Hello and welcome to another episode of Trains app and today we're at Reading on the Great Western Main Line. So you'll be seeing services by Great Western Railway, Cross Country and when I go up to the top end, Southwest Trains as well. Uh, the first train to arrive is going to be the 1153 Great Western Railway service to Great Malvern. It's one of their Atalantes. I can't... Uh, the bleh, bleh. I saw this uh, sat at London Paddington. I took one of the refurbished 166 units that was going to uh, Bedwin. It was doing a straight run from London Paddington to here. And then obviously carrying on. It's 180-102. Lovely. And the weather today is absolutely horrible. Uh, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but it is, uh, it's that real fine, misty drizzle. So it absolutely soaks you. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing this all day, but if it does get any worse, then I will be ducking for cover uh, just down there. Hopefully it stays like this. I don't really want it to get too bad, because otherwise I can't get as good of views as I want to. Uh, there's 165132. They're performing a Great Western Railway service bound for Oxford. Currently, any and all trains going via Swindon are being heavily delayed due to localised flooding on the line due to the heavy uh, weather conditions that we've been experiencing over the past couple of days. But every other line is cleared, so anything going... Well, Seneca, when I say going from uh, Swindon, it's sort of... If you're going to Swindon, down through to the uh, Riviera route, so anything to Plymouth, Exeter, St David's, and vice versa. But anything heading to the likes of... Um, Bristol Temple Meads, I believe they're running uh, to the correct schedule, but obviously that's all subject to change pending the current weather conditions. It looks like 18102 is about ready to depart with the 1153 Great Western Railway service to Great Malvern. I must admit, the Atalantes do look sleek. And 165132 is also departing with the uh, 1154 Great Western Railway service to Oxford. During my time here, I'm also hoping to catch 43185 and 43002 in the Intercity Swallow livery and the BR Intercity livery, respectively. So, let's see what else shall turn up. Okay, now coming in is the 1203 Great Western Railway service to Ealing Broadway. And also coming in behind me should be the 1201 Great Western Railway service to Exeter St David's. One six five one one eight, I believe. Well, it says it's going to Indian Broadway. It's actually going to London Paddington. I don't know why they uh, do that, but there you go. So this will be running a service from uh, Oxford. No, I tell you, I'll be running a service from Dickwood Parkway. You got one six five one one three on the rear. Okay, and now arriving is the late running 1148 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. 43171 at the front. And down in the distance you can see the 1201 Great Western Railway service to Exeter St David's. Passengers at London Paddington have already been informed of an expected wait at Swindon. I 
making a bit of a racket is 43190. Oh no, okay, apparently I was wrong. It looks like anything going after Swindon is being delayed because a Bristol Temple Meads bound train is going to be delayed at Swindon apparently. So it looks like anything going, well, anything in and around Swindon will be delayed due to the flooding. Well, there you go. Now you know. You've now been officially kept in the loop. Rightio then. So, at the front of the 1201 Great Western Railway service to Exeter St. David's, we find... 43033. She bears a name plaque, so let's go and have a butcher's. Uh, who have we got here then? We have driver Brian Cooper, 15th of June 1947 to the 5th of October 1999. Okay, the 1148 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington is uh, departing behind me as incoming. It's a terminating Great Western Railway uh, turbo start or turbo unit from somewhere mystical and magical. I suspect this is uh, running from uh, Oxford, I'm not too sure. It's one of the green sets. 166206. Uh, this also coming in. It's another Great Western Railway 165 coming in behind me in its first Great Western uh, blue livery, as most are. I couldn't tell you the numbers on that one, I'm afraid. I must admit, I was under the assumption that Reading had all of the uh, catenary finished, but, um, no. Okay, 43033 is now departing with the 1201 Great Western Railway service to Bristol, uh, to, um, oh, blimey, Exeter St. David's, as incoming is, I believe, the 1159 Great Western Railway service to Bristol Temple Meet to 43162. Oh, that was close. Okay, we have 180-108 coming in, as there's Prince Michael of Kent, 43-165. Okay. Getting ready to depart is going to be the 1159 Great Western Railway service to Bristol Temple Meads. With 43162, uh, get ready to take it away. I nearly forgot where the number was, I didn't even know it was right in front of me. Derp. As the next train to arrive is the 1153 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Forty-three one nine six. 
Right, and if we shuffle across, we find 43026. Michael Avis. And there's a squabble between the pigeons. Oh, oh they're squaring off. Go on, lads. <laughs> anyway, here's Oxford Street 2007 43198. David Asseborough, eat your heart out. Okay, the next train to arrive is a cross country Voyager. This is going to be running a service to Southampton Central. 220.026. As the delayed 11.53 Great Western Railway service to London Pennington is about ready to depart. Okay, and also sneaking away in is the delayed 12.04 Great Western Railway service to Cheltenham Spa. Forty-three one five six is at the front. Oh, she bears the name plaque as well. Lovely. Right, this is Darlington International Summer School. Okay, now departing is 43156 with the delayed 1204 Great Western Railway service to Chocolate Spa. And by the looks, since the 1242 Great Western Railway service to Cardiff Central has been cancelled. Well, there is 43145. As we have another cross country service coming in, this is one of their 221 Super Voyagers. This is going to run a service to Manchester Piccadilly. So this will be coming from Bournemouth, this is 221125. Oh, I see, flooding between Swindon and Bristol Parkway, that's where it's taking place. Okay, then by the looks of things, I'm going to have to just shuffle across here. Uh, who have we got then? This looks like a Great Western Railway service to Penzance. Let me just catch the times, unless this is something else. Unless this is the 1212 12 Great Western Railway service to... I have no idea where. Yeah, this, this will be a 1212 Great Western Railway service to somewhere, but I'm not too sure where. Uh, 43176 is at the helm. But I have no idea where she's off to. Uh, no. Hopefully I'm, I'll be able to catch the destination on the um, window sticker type deals. Oh, hello. There's 43151 sneaking in. With the delayed 1134 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington.
on the rears, 43, 1, 3, 4. Um, oh, blood, blood, um, right, okay. We've got a 165 trying to sneak its way past me. How dare you, sir? Uh, 165, 112. Bound for Banbury, by the looks of things. As we have another Great Western Railway HST service coming in. As we've got that one going off to somewhere weird, I imagine. I don't know where. Uh, this is the square hair. Is this the 12? I have no idea. Well, this is a 12-12 service to Summer Mystical and Magical. That is a 1212 service to London Paddington. That's 43176. That's 43170. <laughs> right, um. Ah, this is bound for Swansea. There we go. The 1212 Great Western Railway service to Swansea. Boom. How are you? Right then. On the rear of this HST service, we have. Uh, we have a vinyl. We have Visit Plymouth. 43163 Britain's Ocean City And then if I follow it around Woohoo! There's 43161 Well That was um, entertaining A little bit of clag there It's nice to see an MTU clagging for once Oh, hello. Oh, no, no. I got I got hopeful then. Calm down. It's fine. Just calm down. Calm down, would you? Goodness sake. Okay, 221-125 is now departing with the 1215 cross-country service to Manchester Piccadilly. Interesting that that departs more the Southampton Central train, but okay, I thought it, I would have thought that would have went first. As firing up behind me is 43163, propelling the uh, delayed 1212 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Okay, and the next one to drive is 165103. They'll be working a Great Western Railway service bound for Oxford. Okay, 22026 is now departing with its 1220 cross country service to Southampton Central. Okay, and the next train driver is going to be the 1222 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. One six six two zero one.
Okay, 165103 is now departing with a Great Western Railway service bound for Oxford. She's been sat here for a fair while, so I can only assume it's a delayed service. Okay, now passing through is 166, sorry, 165101 by the looks of things. Yep, 165101. If she does come to a stop, no one can uh, board her, she's not in service. Nope, she's going to a stop. Okay, the next train to arrive is the 1223 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Or, as the announcer likes to go, um, Ealing Broadway. And uh, the 1104 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington is delayed by about 90 minutes. I would hate to be on that train. Okay, 165101 is now carrying on into Reading Train Care Depot. There's, there's something down in the distance, but I'm not too sure oh, what it is anyway. Okay, now coming in is the day 1219 Great Western Railway Service to London Paddington with 43035 at the front. As down in the distance is the 1228 Great Western Railway Service to Bristol Temple Meads. As we have. Oh, hello! We have 150101 coming in, it's Great Western Railway Green River. It's the first time I've seen this one. Uh, we've got 43168 on the rear of this service. This is the first time I've ever seen 150001. Okay, you've got 43069 at the front of this Great Western Railway high speed train service. And okay, it looks like we have another DMU pairing coming out of Reading Train Care Depot. Okay, the delayed 1219 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington is departing behind me. She's come to a red light. Hello, 66150 is coming through unexpectedly. Calling a mixture of HQA and uh, JGA wagons. 
as the 1228 Great Western Railway service to Bristol Temple meets Parents is part behind me. 43069. That particular freight consist I saw at Acton Mainline. Never did that Mark III thinks it's a horse. And on the rear is 43152. And there we have 43092 that's going to be, uh, let me look at that, it's going to be the 1232 Great Western Railway service to Penzance. So I'll get the real point of departure as we have our pair of DMUs firing back up again. I'm not sure if I want to catch the numbers for you, but I will try. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. I won't be able to get you the numbers. Okay, 43092, I believe is getting ready to depart with the 1232 Great Western Railway service to Penzance. Okay, now coming in is also the heavily delayed 11.04 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. On the rear here we have 43.015. Okay, if we shuffle along we find 43.140 leading. Landor Diesel Depot, 1963-2013, celebrating 50 years, as also coming in is the delayed 12.23 Great Western Railway service to Oxford, running roughly uh, 13 to 14 minutes late. And down comes the rain yet again. And on the rear of this service is 43.031. And here we have 166210. Okay, now departing is 150.001, but I'm not too sure where she's off to. I'm dead chuffed that I managed to catch 150.001 though. Very, very happy with that. And if we about turn, we find 166210 departing with the heavily delayed 1223 Great Western Railway service to Oxford. Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1250 cross-country service to Bournemouth via Southampton Central. Southampton Central 
Brocklehurst and Bournemouth. This train has five coaches. So this will be one of their two to one super voyages. Available at the rear of the train as it arrives at the station. This will be at the front of the train as it departs. 221140. Okay, and the next train to arrive is going to be the 1245 cross country service to Newcastle Central. It's one of their standard voyages. This is 220014. This uh, will be filmed in two parts. So the first half will be down here, and the second half, well, the second part of the film, or day, you know what I mean, will be at the top end where I will be filming these Southwest train services. So they will feature in the second film. Okay, and the next train to buy is going to be the 1245 cross country service to Newcastle Central, 220.014. Over there is 165136 with a termination Great Western Railway service. As you can probably hear, the weather has worsened, and you can actually see that on the camera. You can see it all around you, you can even see it bouncing off the platform there, so that's making filming particularly interesting. <sighs> Lovely. Okay, and down in the distance here you can see the 1247 Great Western Railway service to Bedwin. I'm not too sure where she's going to be stopping in relation to the platform, so uh, I'll get the number upon her departure if she doesn't pop out next to 2-1-1-40. Uh, very much that she's going to. Okay, and down in the distance is another DB Kang UK Class 66, as the 1247 Great Western Railway service to Bedwin should now be departing. Here she goes. One six six two fourteen. Sixty six one one five. And that's fully loaded. Okay, and also departing is 221140 with the 1250 cross country Super Voyager service to uh, Bournemouth. And coming in behind me is the 1251 Great Western Railway service to Worcester Shrub Hill via Oxford.
Okay, if we turn around, we find leading the way is 43029. And I'll get the rear upon her departure. Okay, and get ready to depart is the 1251 Great Western Railway service to Worcester Shrub Hill. An awful lot of steam coming off the top of that MTU engine. If you're not a steam engine, don't even try it. Uh, there's also coming in, it's another Great Western Railway high speed train service to London Paddington. I very much not be able to get the number of that front HST though. Well, 43117 and there's 43189, Railway Heritage Trust. And on the rear we have 43148. to see the steam coming off the top of the power unit. Okay, and it looks like our final transit of part one is going to be the 1258 Great Western Railway service to Bristol Temple Meads with 43018 at the front. I shall get the rear upon her departure. Okay, this is the 12.56 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington, so either this or the 12.58 to Bristol Temple Meads will be the other end. Well, that's 43.071. Well, these will be my final two trains then, for part one anyway. Forty-three zero two eight is on the rear. Okay, the driver of four three zero eighteen making his preparations for the twelve fifty eight departure to Bristol Temple Meads. So as she continues, I wish I should leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching, it is greatly appreciated. If you like what you see today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to have a comment, I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. 
for a first part of here. I think it's been bloody brilliant if I do say so myself. 150.001 is most certainly the highlight of uh, this particular video. Uh, never have seen 150.001 before and uh, yeah, it just made it all the more better. It's always good to catch something unique here. Um, obviously all the delays have uh, somewhat made this a tad more interesting. Uh, it was good seeing the two DB Kahagi UK Class 66 freight consists coming to and we're well, going to and from wherever they're going to somewhere mystical and magical I suspect uh, it's good seeing the Atalantes as well I'm hoping to catch more of those in part two you'll be seeing plenty of services by Southwest trains going to and from Wa London Waterloo and I'm also hoping to catch more special liveried uh, Great Western Railway high speed train services so until next time from me here at Reading I shall see you in part two. Take care, guys. Goodbye.